Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Mimi US channel. Uh, today I have a new recipe for my walnut lovers. These traditional Moroccan cookies are called Ghriba with um, grinded walnuts and other ingredients. They are made by shaping the dough into small balls as you see in the video, uh, coated in a good amount of powdered sugar with cracks on the surface while baking. Let's see what we need for the ingredients and get started. For this recipe, we need 3 fourths of a cup of granulated sugar, 2 eggs, 2 tablespoons of peach jam, 2 tablespoons of melted and salted butter, 1 fourth of a teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon and a half of baking powder, 3 tablespoons of all purpose flour, and I have 5 cups of grinded walnuts and that's about 500 grams and for la garniture or to garnish I have one cup and a half of powdered sugar and that's about 200 grams and I have one cup of walnut halves and that's about 100 grams In a large bowl, I combine my walnuts that I already grinded ahead of time. I only, I only grind them until I get a sandy texture. I don't want to grind them too much so they won't be greasy. I add sugar, melted and salted butter, salt, eggs, and peach jam. and I start mixing using my hands until all ingredients are well combined. You can use a stand mixer if you want to, if you don't want to get your hands messy. I prefer to use my hands for this kind of cookies. Here I add uh, flour and baking powder and I start mixing again until um, the flour and baking powder are combined, well combined with um, my previous mixture. Here is what my dough should look like. The dough here looks a little bit moist. So what I do is to set it aside uh, to rest and firm. Cover it with a plastic wrap and allow it to firm for about 20 minutes. My dough now is ready to um, form into small balls. What I do here, I use the orange blossom don't worry if you don't have it you can just use water if you want to what the orange blossom does is that uh, it helps me to form the dough into small balls without sticking you can use butter i just prefer to use uh, the orange blossom because it has a beautiful smell and adds a very nice flavor to my cookies as well as you can see i put a little bit um, of the orange blossom the blossom in my uh, pan and i take a small portion of the of the dough and I form small balls as um, the same size as uh, a whole walnut. I'm gonna show you a few here. 
then I'm gonna have to uh, finish up the remaining walnut dough that I have. At this time, I preheat the oven on 338 um, degrees Fahrenheit or one about 170 degrees Celsius. Here I start coating my uh, cookies using um, powdered sugar. At this stage, we need to be very generous. I know it's gonna be too sweet, but you need to be very generous uh, with the powdered sugar. As you see, I coat it as much as I can and I place them on uh, my baking sheet and I make sure I have space in between each cookie. I forgot to mention that I greased my baking sheets earlier and here I place um, the walnut halves on top of each cookie. I don't want to press too much, I just place them on the top of each cookie. If time allows, um, bake two or three cookies first to test and see how your dough reacts. Um, if you see that the cookies are too flat while baking, then add a little bit more of, um, of flour. Once I'm done with all of the cookies, I place them in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they're done. I don't want to leave them for more than 12 minutes so they don't dry or burn. I remove them from the oven, then uh, I allow them to cool for a few minutes on the same baking sheet. I, I make sure I don't move them until they cool completely. Voila, the cookies now are ready. Um, you can uh, actually store them in an airtight container with a plastic wrap between layers. I promise you these cookies will taste great, especially with some tea or coffee. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. And please leave me comments if you have any questions. Thank you.